All right, guys, so after years of waiting for a PC version of Red Dead 1, I could say this is the closest thing to it. Uh, meaning we can play multiple resolutions and frame rates and with native keyboard and mouse support. Now the, the support is not perfect. It's still trying to emulate a controller, but it's integrated into the emulator. So that makes a big difference. You don't need any external programs or anything. So I'm going to show you how I do it. There might be better ways, but this is how I found it works for me. So I'm going to share with you how to set it up in order to unlock, because the game is locked at 30 FPS how to unlock that and uh, how to set up your keybinds. So let's go. Once you have, this is the emulator, Yuzu. So once you have it all set up and the game on it and everything working properly, here's where you go, configure. I would recommend you set this uh, command, the mouse panning to a better key than what it is which is like control F9 or something so I set it to F1 uh, right here I would keep it at four gigabytes but uh, you could try these two here's the first important part which is setting this to 200 percent this will bring the game from 30 to 60 FPS and you can bring it higher or lower it however you want you can also uh, not limit it but I feel like uh, unticking this is kind of can make the game a little bit unstable so next graphics uh, I have a pretty old PC which is like a seven year old PC it's a 1080 with an i7 these are the settings I chose and as you can see, I, I'm running like 1x resolution. And it always has two resolutions. So what this means is that you can change it right here. You can change between docked and um, handheld. So if it's on handheld, it will go for the lower resolution. And if it's docked, it will go for the higher. So that's how that works. Um, this you can even change within the game so I prefer this one you can choose another one you can choose to use uh, anti-aliasing or not I chose FXAA you can change it in game so you know no need to worry about it you can go into the game and then test which one's best for you and I didn't do anything here in advance yet because again it works for me so no need to touch and here are the controls so I would recommend after setting keyboard and mouse here which is one of the keys of this version being kind of the closest to a PC game uh, I've seen because I've been able to run this game for years but the problem is I needed to use a controller and as a PC player uh, it's kind of difficult for me to use a controller on these types of games. So set up keyboard and mouse and make a profile just in case. So WASD control. This is for crouching. This is for calling the horse. This is to zoom on the minimap. This is the camera shoulder. Right here is aiming and shooting. So this is left and right mouse buttons um, Q is for taking cover and then P is for pause it should be ex escape but uh, you can't use it here you can't bind it I don't know if there's a way to do it but if you do if you press escape it exits this menu so you can't do it this is for the satchel so B like it was in uh, RDR2 and this is the weapon wheel which should be tab but again if you press tab it goes to the next option so you can't at least on this menu you can't bind neither tab 
uh, nor escape. So that's what I went for. Then you got the action key, the reload, running and jumping. These are the uh, mouse axis. So this will come up as soon as you select keyboard and mouse. And then this is the, the dead eye and look behind button, which on RDR2 is separated into two or three buttons. Right here, it's all together. So I chose the, uh, the wheel click. So you click the mouse wheel. If you're not aiming your gun, it goes into look behind. And if you are aiming, it goes into dead eye. So the last thing you need to set is the dead zone. So since you're using a mouse, it should be zero. And then I left all this as default, so no need to change much. I'm sure uh, you can tinker with this and get it working a little bit better, maybe. I don't know, I haven't tried, but uh, I just kept it at default. And this is uh, how the, you don't need to turn this on right here because you control that with the, uh, with F1 right here or whatever you set it to. So, how does it work? As you can see, I can move the mouse still, but as soon as I press F1, it'll lock the mouse and it'll make it disappear. You use this F1 toggle to be able to switch between, you know, I'm, there's other ways, but this is the easier. So F11 for a full screen. And now when you set up your key binds, if you did what I did, or you set it to something else, you should keep a screenshot of that. So you can check because the prompts on the game will be the switch controls. So until you get used to it, you should keep a screenshot handy to guide yourself. So press, uh, in this case, would be P for me, which is the start button. Uh, and right here, the A button would be R for me. So A. Okay, so here we are. I am controlling the camera with the mouse. It feels almost as good as controlling with a mouse natively. It's not perfect, so I have auto aim on until I get used to it. But it is the closest to like a real PC game with real mouse control that I've seen in all the versions of Xenia and Well, that's basically it, because I never tried the one for PS3. It does have some issues, but I have been playing it, and this is the first time I've actually played the game, because I can't play with the controller. So this is the first time I'm actually progressing through the game. I've done like uh, eight or nine missions so far, and I plan to continue. So, I hope this helps. Comment down below if you need to know anything else. And if I get an update or I learn something new, I'll post another video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.